Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I did a bit more testing with our undervolted Radeon 7 across 13 games. I added a couple more things to our overlay as well. From now on, I will be including the core voltage on the overlay for all my Radeon 7 content. I also enabled the power consumption metric. I've been reluctant to add the power consumption metric since it seems to fluctuate too much. My watt meter doesn't make any sharp jumps while the overlay bounces around a lot, so just keep that in mind. I ran 5 games in split screen so you guys can see the performance isn't affected running the undervolt. For the sake of keeping the video shorter, I decided to make a bar graph showing the system draw for all 13 games at the end of the video. I'll have timestamps down below.
All right, guys, so I have all of the data collected right here. Um, I did it this way just for, for the sake of making the video a little shorter. Because if I went ahead and ran all these games, the video would be like 20, 30 minutes long. So uh, I figured to save both of our time, so I had to do a bar graph instead. So as you guys can see here, we are saving on average 49 watts by doing the undervolt, which is really, really, really good. And as you guys can see from the gameplay footage, we are also shaving a lot of uh, temperature off of our core. We are dropping nearly 10 Celsius from the junction temperature, which is also awesome. But I would highly, highly recommend undervolting your card. Regardless if you are already getting good temperatures or not, it still doesn't hurt at all. You're drawing less power and you're generating less heat, which in turn gives you better thermals. So everything is pretty self-explanatory, so I'll leave it at that. The only other thing I want to mention is the fact that I ran Doom in 4K. Doom just simply runs too fast in 1440p. It constantly hits the 200 FPS limiter at ultra settings, or nightmare settings, I should say. So I can't really do any uh, power consumption tests running that game since the data would not be accurate since the card's down clocking and bouncing up and down depending on the frames. And one last thing, your power consumption is gonna vary depending on what resolution you're using and also the hardware. My particular rig right now has, I believe like seven fans. I have two radiators, my CPU and my graphics card are both water cooled, so I have two pumps running as well. So my system power consumption is gonna naturally be a little bit higher than say, a air cooled CPU with a stock Radeon 7. Your power consumption numbers are also going to go up depending on your resolution. At 1080p, you're going to be drawing substantially less power, and it's going to go up going to 1440 and 4K. So as you guys can see right here, I'm drawing about, I don't know, like 370 watts or so on average running 1440. And the only outlier is the 4K run since it naturally consumes more power. It loads the GPU harder. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will be doing another run like this, testing the Vega 64 and the Vega 56 against the Radeon 7. The data does take a while to uh, collect, so it might be a few more days before I can finish everything up. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.